Welcome into the Brooks Bench with your host, Brooke, a.k.a. Shiggy, and my co-host, Brooke. What's up, What's up? Alrighty, guys. <laughs> if you're new here, hit that subscribe button on the road to a thousand subscribers. You know, mm -hmm. over halfway there. What, so thank what you. What do we have? 680 something? 82? 682. Wow, like big time That's in. about right. I know. We're, <laughs> we're making moves, right? Smash Pretty good that in one year. Yeah, you know, we did hit our year. What? Like, I think it was two weeks ago. We missed our uh, year anniversary. So, sorry, guys. Sorry to us. <laughs> um, but smash that like button. Leave comments. We appreciate you guys' comments. Follow us on all show social media. TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. And announcement. And Brooke's hearing this for the first time, but me and Megan made an executive decision. <laughs> <laughs> so, for WNBA Fantasy, we did discuss this last episode. We're going to do three. We're going to do three leagues. But we're all going to be in one of those leagues because we aren't going to fit everyone in one league. So Brooke, you'll have a league that you'll be competing with the followers. I'll have one and Megan will have one. Yeah, we did decide that. Yes, we did. So we just made it official right now. Sorry. If you're in my league, I hardly pay attention. <laughs> so <laughs> you should win. If you're in, Brooke's there was league. like a solid foot for like a solid month last year that I did not change anybody. And I didn't do any trades until like the week before playoffs. And then she decided to care and then was like trying to make all these moves. And because then, I was losing by like three points. <laughs> but anyways, I'll have those links in the description below. So click whatever link you want. If it if there needs to be more spaces, we'll add, we'll subtract. Just click the link. We'll go with the details later. But other in other news, we'll be going over our mock draft today, just the first round, so one through twelve, of who we think should go where. But before we get into that, let's go through the news. Heck, a transfer portal news. So one, mm -hmm. Deja Kelly from UNC enters a transfer portal. It did like say that. though that she said she's still open to go back. So like that's a little weird. Like one foot in, one foot out, trying to see yeah. where she can go. But. I didn't even know she had an extra year. I thought she used her extra year this year. So that was weird. That was interesting. I think uh, this is the last year of all of that, right? Yeah, I think so. I think it is too. Yeah, good. Because I can't keep I can't, track anymore. Either. No. Amen. They're all like 30. I just can't. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous. And then we had so many Oregon State players transfer, but I understand. I mean, I would have transferred too. So to me, a gardener. Uh, enters Talia von Allhoffen enters and Reagan Beers. They said Reagan Beers might go to UConn, Brooke. How do you feel? Uh, oh, I don't know if I like it, but they definitely need a big. Yeah. Megan, why I'm not you a don't fan. Like it? Why? She's good. I'm not a fan. I, I just, I feel like she's kind of a slower big. Don't get me wrong, she's yeah, good, she's but good. I just don't see her fitting in with UConn. I don't know. We'll take UNC. Kiki, though. <laughs> we haven't even gotten there. Jeez, Louise. Layla <laughs> Filia, we can't miss over her from Michigan. One of my favorite Michigan players to watch. Enters the transfer portal. First of all, these names are really good in the transfer portal this year. Um, mm -hmm. Janiah Baker from Texas A&M enters the transfer portal. And last but not least, Kiki Arioffin from Stanford enters the transfer portal. I just want everyone to know, I told Brooke this through text messages, that she would be entering the transfer portal. <laughs> <laughs> before she enters the transfer portal and brooke i'm sorry i was right come on you knew She's she wasn't so gonna annoying. stay there. listen i hope people understand our real followers they get it because when she decides to run her mouth anywhere else she jinx things and then when she decides <laughs> to run her mouth about like things that i care about and matter it's she's always right and it pisses me <laughs> off because then she just texted me this the other day and then she texted me today with the screenshot and just said i'm sorry like no i apology not accepted i'm sorry yeah <laughs> we all saw Brutal. it coming we all saw it coming right when tara i don't know wrote that it was like a 50 50 in my head and you know what they i think they interviewed kiki and she was like yeah we have a lot to build on here and then she said deuces i'm out um my theory is and this was before people on Twitter started running with this theory. But I was telling Megan, Kiki to USC. She's from LA. She's from LA. That's a good 
landing spot. That's the best. That's the perfect fit or for her. UCLA. That's true. But Juju and Kiki together? Oh my god. I might have to be a USC fan. That yeah. would be nice. That would be cool. That would be that would be good for Juju. Get her some help. Get her but a I'd big. I like her at UConn too. You gone? Where did this go from? <laughs> I started to think about it. And I'm like, you know what? She'd be a good fit there. All of a sudden, no, yeah, I mean, she would be a good fit there. I would, I would agree, but I don't think she's going to go across the country. Did we talk about Haley Van Liv entering too? Yeah, uh, yeah, last last episode, I think. Did we? I think I don't so. Remember. Well, recap: Haley Van Liv is in the transfer portal, and if she has a visit. It. Yeah, she has a visit with Mississippi State. I don't know if I like that. I don't they know if said Mississippi. that the assistant or the coach there, the head coach there was the assistant at Louisville. And that's why. So. I mean, like, I don't blame her. She's a great coach. Yeah. But I just don't know if that's a good fit for her. But honestly, I just want her to go wherever she, like, her heart is desires. It, yeah, where it's like going to help Wherever her. we're going to get the old. The old Louisville Haley yeah. Van Litt. That's who yeah. I want to see play. Yeah. And the, did you see the Kim Mulkey thing where she was like, why she t- was to answer the transfer portal? Honestly, as weird as it sounded, that was probably the nicest thing to come out of Mulkey's mouth in a long time. And everybody's hating on her, and it's funny because it's like not That's the a best compliment. comment, but like baby steps, you guys. Yeah, like, for Mulkey, I was like, "Wow, this is appropriate." I was like, "Oh, well, that was that was, it was nice so of her." Nice compared to what she normally says. Yeah, I was expecting like let a the good viewers line who good don't know no what what did Mulkey say? Oh, what did she say? She said something along the lines of she she found out or she figured out that she needed an extra year and that she needed to go to a new place that would uh what was it go back to her old help with self. her old position or yeah something. yeah yeah and then Kim Mulkey that which we that all means said. compliment yeah I know yeah we all yeah. said and then Mulkey's like direct quote was something along the lines of like when a player like that tells you all you can do is give her a hug and wish her the best or something like oh that. i didn't i didn't see that part i'm glad yeah you it was that. something oh, like wow. a all i can do is just like yeah interesting but, LSU's but we all knew mulkey liked Haley van lith because she was always a big fan of her and always like had positive things to say about her in press mm-hmm. releases and mm-hmm. interviews and stuff like that so it doesn't shock me that she's saying this about her well, you know what the thing was um, about, okay, so, like, you know how, like, I mean, I was mad about the Georgia Amor saying, but they were saying that, okay, I must have been naive to NIL and its powers, but, like, schools can, like, just pay these children to come be at their school. Like, straight up, I'll offer you a million. Like, the transfer portal, I, like, so kids I didn't are know asking that for either. money. Yeah. Yeah. I read something about that, too, and I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, I thought it was a there joke. there was one player asking for a million or something, Yeah. Right? So <sighs> that's what – and they're saying that the uh, SEC jump – I mean, the SEC is more competitive than ACC, like, pay-wise. So, like, her going to SEC, I could see them being like, all right, if you come here, we'll give you – We'll give you more money. See, that makes sense because I was confused when what's his face was like the SEC is the best conference in the world or something like that, and I'm like, yeah. you're t- you're in women's basketball and it's actually not. Yeah, I think they get more money. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense I would have said that too. Money. Yeah, that does make sense. So I think that it's a smart decision. Then, I mean, if you're gonna if they offered you some irresistible amount of money, I don't know. It backfired. I think it backfired for Haley Van Lith, but she gets that extra year, so it's fine. Um, cause they were saying like, they offered her a lot of money to go to LSU. Who knows? These are speculations, people. I'm just saying that these are theories of why she <laughs> went to LSU and yada, 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 yada. But yeah. Okay. We're getting off track. Let's move on. <laughs> uh, Mackenzie Holmes, uh, she'll be going undergoing knee surgery. I heard it's just a cleanup. There's just pain in there. She wants to get rid of, she'll be available for 2025. Hoping to still get drafted though. Um, and this this is cool. South Carolina versus Iowa's game averaged 18 point million viewers on ABC and ESPN. The most 18.7. You said oh, 18 said. point million. <laughs> 18.7 million viewers. That's the most uh by any basketball game, women's, men's, college, or pro in the last five years. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Love it. Caitlin Clark's jersey will be retired at Iowa before she even left. Wow. 
What a legend. It's pretty cool, honestly. What a legend. <laughs> yeah. Uh, first of all, that's crazy. <laughs> cool. But this next line is why they retired her jersey. I was but women's also, basketball listen, team. Because huh. not everybody knows this. Um, Caitlin Clark is actually Shiggy's favorite basketball player. <laughs> Top five. <laughs> Uh, I was women's basketball team added 82.5 million to their local economy. I would re- also retire her jersey after reading that line. Yeah, that she yeah. can have the insane. keys to the city. You can oh, own yeah. it. She's probably going to get all of that. All the whole still thing. to come, still to come. <laughs> yeah. That's oh like God. Taylor Swift tour status this year. Yeah. <laughs> she <laughs> is huge. If she <laughs> ran for mayor, they'd vote her in. They would vote Easy. her right now. Like she could have her owns own Iowa. whole rest of her life completely fine in iowa no she's literally going <laughs> to retire in iowa and not have to pay a dime for anything that's no. how she's the president of iowa local be, legend hey, there's gonna be like a clark the county there soon or something like that isn't there, there, not there, is. Is there one probably i don't know interesting make the shirts and then- it's gonna be like Shit's Creek, shirt. where all, when they enter the the city, there's like a big billboard of like the founders. It's gonna be like Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's all coming in in thirty plus years. We'll see it. Yeah, and then people are gonna quote this podcast and be like, yeah, "Wow, we called it." These Thank three you. random people said it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, lastly, WNBA has entered many partnerships, but. They entered a specific partnership with Opal, the first ever daily birth control available without prescription. <laughs> Women empowerment. Wow. I just wanted to add that. Yeah. Cool. All right. What you guys have all been waiting for. Us three ding-dongs mock drafting <laughs> the WNBA. Hey, let me preface this by this was really hard. And let me tell you, I did some research, okay? And I don't think anyone has it right. I don't think any no. of these mock people have it right at all. Because I don't understand it. Period. Maybe they'll get it right. Last year when me and Brooke did the mock draft, half their mocks were wrong. Like, so wrong. So We were more right than they yeah, were. It was, so, it was really bad. Okay, but let's get into it. We'll go back and forth. Um, I'll go first. Indiana Fever. So they're going to select this one girl. I don't know if you guys heard of her. Uh, she plays for Iowa. Caitlin Clark. Do we all agree with that? What position is she? Oh, I don't know. I don't know sure actually, that? I think Caitlin she's Clark? a small forward. Weird. Yeah. <laughs> small forward. That girl's six feet. <laughs> <laughs> There's no, no. About that. I don't know if they're gonna pick her. <sighs> you know what'd be so crazy? <laughs> you know, it'd be so crazy if Indiana was like, nah, nah. Trade. <laughs> could you have, could you imagine <laughs> the like one position they really desperately need? And like, they're like the world that would break the internet. Do you know how many views that would? Oh my god, that'd be the craziest thing to ever happen. Okay, so Caitlin Clark hilarious. is yeah. obviously number one. We don't have to contest that. Let's get it. Let's move on because the rest of these are hard. I think they're hard. Number two, LA, and everyone thinks this is an easy pick, but there's been some wavering with this pick. I don't know if you guys have seen it. I personally think it's still going to be Cameron Brink. I I really think she's a mer- most versatile big. I know Rakia Jackson is really good, guys. I get that. But there's something about Cameron Brink and L.A. And it goes together. Like, yes. so far, both of these picks, they just go together, you know? Yeah. I just think it's going to be Cameron Brink. I know there's good discussions about other picks here, but I really do think it's going to be Cameron Brink. Mm-hmm. Any objection? Can't say that I do. No, ma'am. Well, there's going to be objection here. I've seen the mocks. And let me tell you, I'm going crazy. No, it's not that crazy. Um, I know people have Rakia Jackson here. But hear me out. Chicago. Chicago needs everything. And if you're an LA fan, you want Rakia Jackson to fall to you at four. Okay? You need somebody. Chicago needs a lot of work. Chicago has room, has patience to grow. Right? That's the vibe I'm getting. And I'm going with Camila Cardoso. Camila Cardoso here, there's not a lot of six, seven girls out there. Besides Tara McCowan and Kalani Brown, there's no other six, seven girls out there. Six, seven is a commodity, okay? And when Camila gets with a coach that can develop her, and she's going to take some time. But Chicago got time. Chicago shipped all their first rounders to Dallas next year, I think it is. I say you take Camila you take the unicorn and develop. You take the unicorn. Six seven is hard. It's hard to come by for a woman. Okay. Honestly, and I think you bring a good point, which 
honest, I think Cameron Brink and because I do think Cardoso is going to go top three as well. I think between two and three, they might be interchangeable. Yeah. Like I could see LA being like, no, we want six, seven. Yeah. And then Chicago best next pick is, yeah. is Brink. And you can make the argument for Rakia Jackson as well. But what I'm saying is two, okay, two to four, all interchangeable between those three. Five to seven is all interchangeable for me as well going forward. But Megan, did you have Rakia going to Chicago? Yeah. Why? I think Rakia needs more like that forward interchange. Like, because they have, they really, like you said, they have nothing. Yeah. <laughs> and I just think Rakia brings more of an offensive, like, scoring threat a little more than Cardosa because Cardosa is like a true like in the paint gonna bang in the paint she doesn't really shoot the ball outside of the mm-hmm. paint so Rakia gives a little more versatile for that but mm-hmm. um I mean yeah like you guys have said it can really I, I saw a lot of articles saying how LA really wants Cardosa so Cardoso yeah so I can see what Brooke really? was saying like how they might go after her at number two and then mm. Chicago, I mean, if I was, if, if that's the case, if LA takes, if, if LA doesn't take Brink, I can see Brink dropping the four because, I mean, sorry, mm. the three to and go to Chicago and then Rakia mm. would drop and go to or LA. Or even four where she still goes to LA. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and if, she, both of them if, together. if Brink drops to Chicago, they are dumb to super. not take Brink, I think. Yeah. Well, I don't know. The way and LA is still their moves, moves, I would be shocked though. if they passed her up. Yeah, but I think it works out for LA though, if you think about it, because NECA left. So mm-hmm. they're going to replace NECA with Cardosa, who's a rebounder in the paint, can put it right back up in the basket. And then you add Rakia to that. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I like it. Mm-hmm. Well, that's that was my thing. I was more thinking, like, hear me out. Th- a lot of my picks are like wishful thinking and like who I want in teams. So yeah. they go brink. Uh, Cardoso goes to Chicago and then they get Rakia at four. So you get Brink and Rakia Jackson on the same team. Now tell me that that is tough. That's, That's good, nice. but I think LA is really wanting Camilla. But why? <laughs> I don't know. I just seen articles. I, I don't really get it, but interesting. I just think, uh, I don't know. Rakia and Cameron are more WNBA ready. But Cardoso could be really, really good in the next couple of years and the height. So I don't know. But that's what I think. So mine was L.A., Cameron Brink, Chicago, Cardoso, L.A., Rakia. And Megan, yours was Chicago, Rakia, Cardoso to L.A. Those Uh three, four, and four, or what is it? Yeah, two, three, three, four. four. Man, that could go anyway. I know. Yeah. So it's Brooke- gonna be it's gonna be a last second decision. They're making calls back and yeah. forth to each other. It's gonna be like draft day, the movie. You know. So Brooke, you had Rakia. Then I had what four. you had. Okay, at four. All right, then let's move on because five, six, seven for me took me the longest. Let me tell you, because at number five, this is where the trades start happening. Hear me out, people. Right here. You have to choose. You need a point guard. Right here, I'd have Georgia Amor going at five. But now she's not on the draft, and you're staring at Aaliyah Edwards. And what they say is the next best guard on the board is J.C. Sheldon. I'm not as high as everyone is on J.C. Sheldon going at five. And you're staring at Aaliyah Edwards, but you know you know dang well you got so many bigs. Like, are you really going to pass up Aaliyah Edwards and give her to yes. Washington? No, yeah. you're going to trade the pick and you're going to get something. Dallas has two first round picks. They're not keeping both their first rounders. There's no way with their cap space. How are no, they going to keep two why first wouldn't rounders? You just, why wouldn't you take a, I mean, I think just take the guard. You're going to get, don't they get a, uh, they get a, is it Phoenix? Connect? They get a pick uh next draft from a team i forget what it is let me look it up real quick but but what i'm saying is why you're, you're not going to keep two first rounders this year like two first round I, players I say get a guard space. who can help help with scoring and shooting the ball you can get the guard at nine for cheaper and you could probably get something good at five someone that mm-hmm. needs a leah edwards they i think they, they would pay up for this but anyways if dallas is looking at five i think they're going to trade it if they don't trade it, I think they're dumb not to take Aaliyah Edwards. So I'm sticking with that pick. What do you guys think? I mean, Dallas is 
did well last year and th- and they're sitting really well going into this year already mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. i do like i do think this is going to be a pivotal moment yeah it is but i don't know if dallas is going to be the one that trades the team trades the pick you know like yeah maybe la's one that trades the pick and tries to get a better somebody you know mm-hmm. so, somebody they don't have to mold immediately like mm-hmm. like somebody who's in the league more i don't know this one's tough i don't know if it's edwards that goes five Ah, I don't know if they need a guard. Why can't like fair should be higher up in the, the mock draft, but mm-hmm. you know, I don't know. That's a tough one. I do like Aaliyah Edwards at Dallas, but I also mm-hmm. like her at Minnesota. So that mm-hmm. could also be a, a pick there. That's a homer and that pick right there. there too. Who knows? That's Brooke's homer pick. Cause Brooke likes Minnesota and UConn. I do, so. but it's just so. like, I don't know. Something about that feels right for those two yeah. teams for her. But Megan, so you Megan, you pick JC Sheldon at number five. Yeah, I mean, I kind of like the fair pick, like how Brick said. I think they need a guard. I do think they need a guard, but I do I understand that there are guards in this draft that they can wait for. Yeah. So I mean, now that you threw that out there, I can see the possibility of that, and maybe they, uh, you know, trade away the picks so that way they can either get something late in the draft and then. Mm-hmm. you know get something better next year because we mm-hmm. know some good guards are coming out next year mm-hmm. so um exactly i can see i can see that um yeah. so i would i would say i'm changing up my stuff here a no. little bit mm-hmm. i would say that i agree that they could p- potentially trade this pick away which would yeah. tra- change everything the whole draft it would change a lot yeah but if they don't they're going for a guard here and it would probably for me it's jc or fair and the thing is there's better than jc though but they're saying that jc has the clamps and she's a bigger guard yeah the clamp i think she like, has like defensive the, like, like she's yeah, oh i was <laughs> like what are you talking about <laughs> <laughs> yeah no they're saying i think jc she is good has like a little better like um and she's bigger IQ a little bit she makes little smarter decisions but fair is a great score <laughs> yeah she's a great yeah, and threat Dallas- to be dueled up with uh Mm-hmm. You know what's her name? <laughs> That's what I'm I got all these like, college the players in my head right teams? now, I'm trying to filter the WNBA players. Out of these, four, I guess four teams because Sparks has two picks. Like yeah. Dallas is yeah. better off than the rest of them, so they're yeah. like they need a, a guard to help. You yeah. know, like that's what i was saying i've been saying for the last two years, Dallas is one guard away, one good point guard away from possibly winning a championship. I don't think they find I'm that guard here, here. I'm ready. Run me a Dallas jersey. I know. I just don't think they find the point guard here. Sorry to break it to everyone. But let's go to number six, Washington. And the, another reason I put Aaliyah Edwards at five is because uh-huh. I had J.C. Sheldon going to Washington. Now, hear me out. I do like that. Yes. J.C. Sheldon's really good at defense. Brittany Sykes, really good at defense. Replacing Natasha Cloud, who is really good at defense. Do you see the pattern? They need depth at the guard spot. JC yeah, Sheldon who's going like to Washington. the point guard though? Like who's who did they who's pick anybody, anybody at the Mystics anymore? Well, <laughs> okay, you saw Brittany Sykes and Arrow Atkins, and then what whoever they got rid of Natasha Cloud is JC Sheldon. Bam, right there. It's gonna be hard to break their starting lineup, but they still that they only could lost be a good um like franchise player for them. I mean, okay, they only lost Deladon and Natasha Cloud, right? Deladon, like she's just taking a but year she's off. She's just taking the. Yeah. She wants to get traded. She don't want to be there anymore. So let's no, be she real. She doesn't. She just get her, get her gone. Yeah, I won't be surprised if the Mystics try to go for a big, but I just think Sheldon is a good replacement. But who do you guys think? I don't know. I went uh, Leah Edwards. What just like you said, I mean, they need they need some big help. I mean. I know they lost Natasha, but I didn't see. I, I I don't see any other guard that can then pass up at uh, Leah Edwards again after I had Dallas taking J.C. Sheldon or Fair. So, so. But didn't you just say that you had a Leah Edwards going to Dallas? Or no, you kept it that they're going to go for a point guard. No, yeah, yeah I said they're going to oh, okay. go for a guard. They're going to go for J.C. or they're going to go for uh like Fair. Those okay. are the only two I would really. If they don't trade away their pick. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, Brooke, what about you? I don't know. This one's hard. Like, I feel like last year I had a really good grip on 
on the standings. Like yeah. we talked about it on the pod. Like I wish I would have said it in the video because I was thinking it. I just didn't want to say it out loud that like I knew they were gonna. I don't even remember who picked her trade. Um, what's her yeah, name? The number Hayley four. Jones. I always forget her name. Um, so I don't know. This one's hard. I just. I don't know if JC Sheldon is a top 10 pick in the draft, to be honest with you, with everybody, mm-hmm. but every mock draft has her going to Washington and I like her at Washington. Mm-hmm. I just, I can't wrap my head around it. Not saying she's yeah. bad, like yeah. definitely first round. Mm-hmm. I, I just don't know if she's that high in the draft, Yeah, mm-hmm. but I could see her going to Connecticut too. Like that'd be a good yeah. one for me. So yeah. drop her a little bit into 10. I don't know. It's hard. This one, like these later um, picks are just hard. Yeah, no, I totally agree. Okay, Minnesota. Minnesota. I know Brick's gonna hate this, but I got Angel Reese. No, I do. I do hate this because who else? Who else? I think she's best on the board at this point. And Minnesota, they Minnesota lost two bigs this season, so they lost Millick. I think she's staying overseas, and uh, Shepard. So (laughs) they're gonna need some bigs, and Angel Reese is right there. So. Angel hear Reese. me out i think reese would do well in chicago okay. i know she, like i don't know if she's gonna go top three but i think she would g- do very well in chicago especially with what's her face um blonde white girl Attitude. um um Mabry. yes thank you <laughs> um i think they would do well together um i just don't i don't like the it doesn't fit for me angel reese to minnesota i think it's gonna happen though I do too, but also like um, maybe they use her as a draw or as a trade pick too. Like they might grab her to trade to a maybe. different team um, to get some money and stuff out of that. But I have seen a couple mock drafts um, yeah. about her and Cordoso getting drafted to the same team in the first round. <laughs> oh. That scares me. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think. I, I hope think. not. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Keep them away from each other. All right, Meg. What'd you have? I. I- Angel Reese. Yeah. I think I think with um what's her name? Shepherd leaving. Yeah. Angel Reese. I mean, come on, guys. You know how I feel about Angel. She likes to brick and rebound. Brick and rebound. But luckily <laughs> she's gonna go to a team where she don't really got a brick. She just needs to rebound and it's a perfect fit. Oh my gosh. I don't know about perfect fit, but yeah. she's definitely unless, gonna go with this. Yeah, and I think a- that she's gonna bring a lot of money and attention to Minnesota yeah, to Minnesota. So there we go. Minnesota. It's Minnesota. So come on. I, don't I know. think Barbie. Yeah. Like, I, I think unless some something Barbie over there. Yeah. Unless something crazy happens, I think she's going to Minnesota. Yeah. All right. I like the Chicago for her. <laughs> well, this is where I got a. It got a little murky for me here, people, because I was getting too confused. So Chicago has the next pick. Chicago still needs everything, everyone. So you can yeah, do whatever you like want. Three more picks in the first round to be complete. Chicago, yeah, Chicago, you can do whatever you yeah. want. And I'm not going to lie to you. I saw a lot of Australian players in the mock drafts. I tried to look up their stats. I tried to look up some highlights. Didn't like one, like the other one, kind of. I floated around with that. What was her name? Like Isabel Borlas or something here. Yeah. But then I said, pause. No, because... I can't do that because I want her somewhere else, and I'll explain why. So with Dallas, I mean with Chicago, I pick. I said uh, you guys are gonna go crazy. Alyssa Peely, she's versatile. They need anything and everything. She could play. She's small. I get that, but she did play a big for Utah. It's just a versatile player that they can plug in anywhere if they need it, and they need everything. That was the best explanation I can come up with. I don't really like Chicago, and they need too much for me to pick who they who they really want to pick. All right, your turn. Uh-huh. I went with the Australian guard. Did you? Yeah, yeah. Um, I was going to, you know, because yeah. I I'm thinking with the the third pick that they have. I'm thinking they potentially go big, or they get lucky and get Frank, or you know, what I mean, that somewhat in that mix, they're gonna go big. Yeah. So I was thinking like, okay, then you need a guard. And yeah. I don't know much about her, but from what I read, it's like she's a great scorer, shooter yeah. and stuff. So and she's a big point guard. That's what Chicago needs. So yeah. I don't know. I agree. All right, Brooke. 
Same injuries. <laughs> yeah, she said that. Oh, yeah, you did say that. <laughs> All right. I could see her going there for real, though. I, I'm being dead, dead ass about that one. Like, I don't think that she's maybe an eight pick out of the draft. I think she probably has a higher draft stock than that. Not too yeah. much higher. Yeah. But I just think that's the best choice. And I don't know. If Rakia goes three, you have Rakia and Angel mm-hmm. and they're going to be a young team anyways. They know they're in a rebuild. You might as well get some young people you can work with and build up. And then if they yeah. you want, you trade them for money or more players or more draft picks for the next year. Like, honestly, Chicago is in a spot right now that like, yeah, whatever, do what you want. Because yeah, do whatever. Like, you're at the bottom. Like, yeah. You whatever know what I mean? <laughs> Chicago, we're saying this, and Chicago's gonna pick the most random people. I'm over. They're just they're gonna do whatever. They're they gonna want. do so good this year. Watch because yeah. we're like Chicago. I don't know. Chicago's cool though. You guys should um go to that stadium. That's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, you did say it was really cool there. Yeah. Okay, Dallas. This is where I had the uh, Australian point guard Isabel Borlas going to because I in my head I'm thinking Dallas trades a five pick or they go Leah Edwards. They need the point guard. She's a big point guard. It could work out. Then I was reading that she might not be coming to the WNBA or something, but who cares? We're still drafting her. Dallas needs a point uh-huh. guard. And I did watch her highlights. She's She looks to score. And they need someone else besides Arike. So uh-huh. that's my pick here. Interesting. I also stayed, you know, like I mentioned already, Dallas needs guards. Mm-hmm. I don't see them drafting a big. I just, mm-hmm. you know, I think they need guards and they need guards that can handle the ball and score to help get people off Arike. So I'm still sticking with if JC or Fair doesn't go early, they're going to go this round. And if it's not, then the only other one that really stood out was that um, Carla uh, guard. She's like a big guard from France. I thought she was a center. Is she a center? Yeah. I think she's a guard. Mm. Okay, so you have Dallas wrong, picking two but... guards. Yeah. I, that's, that's what crazy. I think they need, honestly. Okay. If you look at their guards, like, I mean, outside of Rike, I can <laughs> replace any of them. Yeah. All right, Brooke, who do you got? Um, I don't know. I think I do <laughs> like the monograph of Alyssa Peely going over to Dallas. Yeah. Um, but I like it to help transition her out of being like the big. Yeah. And to like, you know, you have those really good bigs down in um Dallas who can mm-hmm. like help mold. Yeah. And then I don't think she's gonna be the point guard for that team, no. but somewhere in between where she can come play um was it high post up there by the, the free throw line, she can come out to the three, like she's very versatile. I think she yeah. would have to get in shape a little bit more because she does tend towards the last games to be a little bit slower up and down the court. Cause she's grinding. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I think that would give her that, that boost and that break to be able to go the distance because knowing you have bigger, better post and bigs, mm-hmm. you know? So I don't know. I do like that pick, but I don't know if she's going to be a top 10 draft pick to be honest with you. Yeah. Honestly, I'm looking at some of these draft picks. I think I'm on ESPN right now. Mm-hmm. I didn't know Jalen Sherrod. Yeah. Why do they have her going very last in this? They draft? have her going to the Aces, so let's just keep that. I'm fine with that. I'll take her out the Aces. Yeah, <laughs> I just I don't know if she make that team though. Yeah, but she. I, I like her. Um. So okay. Connecticut, though. So I really wanted to have Peely go to Connecticut, but I just didn't have a lot of players that I would draft above her. So that's why she kind of landed at uh, Chicago for me. But if Peely goes to Connecticut and can learn from Alyssa Thomas, that's going to be amazing. That's going to be great. Mm -hmm. But because I had Alyssa Peely going to Chicago, right here, guys, you guys are going to go crazy. Daisha Fair to Connecticut! You heard it here. No, first. I like that. And I think her and her Alyssa Beely at Dallas, I think this could be interchangeable. Mm. Mm. Okay. See? Yeah, I do like Peely at Connecticut. But if she doesn't make it there, Daisha Fair, Connecticut. 
if that's Fair doesn't go pick. five or what I said, she whatever number I said, yeah. I think that this would be the the next. Yes. I like her here. What about mm-hmm. everyone else? I think Fair, like I've already used her, but Oh, did you? Oh, you did. I like Connecticut. You guys know I'm a Connecticut fan because I like Alyssa. Yeah. But she would fit in really well there. But I had uh, Alyssa Pilly here and I had yeah. um I had her torn between um uh what's her name the pooch the pooch from yeah. australia the, f- the, the forward Australian girl. so i also think Alyssa pillie would be good at connecticut because i think that you know the bigs are getting old there except for brianna jones who's gonna be back yeah. um but you know Alyssa thomas i don't know i see her replacing her so if she can come there like you mentioned learn from her Mm-hmm. I think she'd be a good fit, but then mm-hmm. the Australian pouch. Yeah. I heard she's really good. Like I did too. Another Ezzy. So I yeah. think it could be a toss up because that's what I think they could be looking for is someone that can eventually like replace Alyssa Thomas and mm-hmm. yeah. So yeah, the only thing about the Australian I heard about is that she would need to take time to develop. Like she would be a project. So but but that might work because you know. Connecticut needs to win now. Alyssa Thomas, I mean, right now, they're old. Season. They're old. <laughs> yeah, but what, how long does she? How long is she going to take to develop? Though you I think don't she's going to take years? years? No, Four Who years. Knows? Yeah, but that's if no. they stay healthy. Yeah, yeah you, that's true. Connecticut needs to win as soon as possible. So, Brooke, who did you have again? No, I, me. Yeah, did you say you had someone here? Um, I think Fair and Peely are interchangeable yeah. in this nine ten. Oh yeah, that's right. That's what you said. That's what you said. I, agree. I honestly, in these later draft picks, it's hard because it's going to be determined on how the first four or five go. Yeah, because someone's going to do something out of pocket, and we're going to be like, "What?" And then the rest is just going to fall into place after that. Yeah, but all right. Number 11, and I hated to do this because 11. because mm-hmm. it's New York. And, you know, New York is our rival. Okay? If you've been following us, not a New York fan here. Just kidding. Um, I said Nika Mule. And hear me out. I really wanted her to drop to the second round because everyone was sleeping on her before she did super well against Caitlin Clark, right? But I think she goes to New York. New York's guards, they don't have... They have zero defense. It's like Swiss cheese, okay? Bring in a defensive guard. <laughs> you, That's come good. On. They, they, That's good. Yeah, come on. You know they got cooked <laughs> by the Aces last year. Let's not be let's let's be for real. So they bring in a defensive guard. <laughs> She's a point guard. She's experienced. She could facilitate. She can score. Perfect fit for New York. What do you guys think? <laughs> Why are you laughing? I think it's a good move, and then they trade her. <laughs> to who? I don't know. Get whatever they want. New York is in a good spot to be the oddball out, do whatever they want, and then develop that player and get rid of them. Yeah, New York is a picking Nika Mule. There's no way. That is the New York sports way right now. It's buy all your players. They're insane. Except the Giants and the Jets. That's crazy. That's crazy. All right. Yeah, it's Megan. crazy for you. Megan. I think it selfishly because I don't want Nika there. I didn't choose her. I know. That's I know I don't yeah. want her either. Me, and yeah. I put I put charisma because I was like, I don't care if she goes there. <laughs> that, that was really my reasoning. I was like, ah, okay, out of the ones that's coming up. Ah, you're good. <laughs> you know what's funny? I almost did that too. And I said, let's be for real. It they sh- they would they should yeah pick, she probably won't be Nika. going first round, but I just couldn't do it to Nika. Couldn't do it. I the, honestly, New York shouldn't even have a first round draft pick. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they, they don't. I don't one. even know how, how much money do they even have for a first round draft pick. I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> okay, number twelve, Atlanta. Atlanta needs another guard, in my opinion. They lost Eric. Nika, can, Nika can go there. No. Who? I pick you had Nika going to Atlanta. Yeah, it, it just because I, I do don't want her it. to get picked first round. 
I don't hate that. Nah, you know who's a better fit? Charisma Thomas. Osborne. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she probably is a better fit. She's a better fit. I think but I there's no way I was letting Nika go to New York. Oh my god. <laughs> it's supposed to be a little bit realistic. Nah. Coming from the one person who always puts her opinion in it all. <laughs> That's what but the one time you I put Nika in New York. Your players to drop to your teams. But did I have Nika going to New York? I did. So mm-hmm. listen, I don't know That's if you guys ever a true. if you guys ever played this on like NFL Madden growing up, but do you guys remember and then maybe they still have it. I haven't played video games in years. Where you uh-huh. could do like the um you could be like the GM or whatever and like Oh, don't get us started. <laughs> yeah, they have it for to, WNBA. It's it's hard. Do we they really? Do a, yeah. You tried to do a draft, right? For, it took hella it was, long. It was NBA 2K, but they had this whole WNBA part on it. Yeah. And we tried to do a, a <laughs> mock draft as the GM of, of it's hard. every team and just create the whole rosters. And it was like, wow, okay, it's too much. I don't want to ever be a GM. Oh it's God, only- I want to play. No, it's fun. It's only hard because we were trying to stack our teams and then we were like, well, wait. And then it like you it's not it's not really accessible. Like you really have to start the whole draft over if you mess up. So we're like, oh, this is this is a lot of work. And well, you, you gotta, it's, it's hard because five or a new Xbox to play this game. I'll send you my address. <laughs> send the address. No, just- send the address. All no, right, but it, let us it's know hard because what? it's just that man, the mock draft, like trying to be a GM and create rosters is like Yeah. <laughs> it's it's much. like stressful. And then yeah. it's like the simulation. So it tells you what the NFL one. I remember playing it. Obviously, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Yeah. And it would tell you like percentages and just like you'd watch it like decrease as <laughs> if you continued. <laughs> Uh, no, but we'll have time. to probably try that. Uh, try that WM. That'd be a fun like live segment. Is us trying to figure this out? <laughs> no, yeah. absolutely not. Um, speaking about lives, I was gonna say we should do the live for the draft, but absolutely not. It starts at four thirty. I'm still at work. That's mm-hmm. horrible. Started no, at five thirty. Four thirty. That's ridiculous. You know what? It's better than wa- last year. Wasn't last year like ten a.m. It's because of the East like Coast, a, though. Sunday? It's because of the time difference. Point. It'd be too late on the East Coast to tune in. They're going to go party after they got drafted. It's never too late. They ain't going to sleep. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, it's they're going the to party at 3 p.m. if it's over. Yeah. You just got drafted to the WNBA, of course. <laughs> All right, guys, let us know what you guys think of the mock draft. Obviously, we're all over the place. What do you guys think? I think it's going to be not what anyone predicted, honestly. Um, but yeah, let us know. Hit that subscribe button, comment, like. And if you want to join our Fantasy League, the description will be below. Or the link will be below in the description. So hit that. And we'll be back next week with I don't know what. Probably our reactions to this draft. And see who the Las Vegas Aces get. Oh, yeah. Reaction to Holly Rowe. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't even get me started on Holly. Is she hosting it again? Yes. Yeah, she's going to be there. Oh, my God. I said, wait, before everyone logs off, I said, you're going to hear this here first. She's going to, when she interviews Aaliyah Edwards, she's going to ask her about that screen, that offensive foul. <laughs> <laughs> oh, probably. Uh, okay, now you guys probably. can uh, tune off. But we'll be back next week. Peace. <laughs>